Well, we got more trains than we got more frames. So today we're gonna be getting back to our turbo motor project. However, we run into a spooky issue that we have to deal with as well. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory. Where last time, we pretty much fixed all of the lag in our world. Because it turns out, it was all the trains causing it all along. And by turning all the trains off, we were able to increase our frame rate by like 60%. And also, we went to the last biome in the map we needed to conquer, and stole a nice 2,600 bauxite per minute. Which is now going on this train back to base. So that now we can finish off one of the last remaining projects in our turbo motor setup. Our heat sinks. And oh brother, are we gonna be making a lot of them. However, I got some pretty bad news considering this project. So now that we're building past the space elevator, I've had to make some pretty drastic changes to some aspects of the base. And unfortunately, we're gonna have to end the spine project here. Because it goes all the way up here now, right? Except the space elevator gets right in the way of it. So we're gonna have to kind of like move everything for this now. And like, I wish there was another option, but like, this thing's like right here, so it has to be done. But then at the end of the day, it did do its job. It got everything up to the top of the base, and it looks fantastic. Just at some point now, we're gonna have to figure out how to design it a little bit better so it doesn't look like super trash near the top here. But that's a project for another time. But right now, we gotta get started on those heat sinks. So here's the deal. We're gonna be building the heat sink area right in here directly above the hub 2.0 and then yeah just building straight up from here and luckily I've already got to prepping some things so the bauxite we're gathering from the red forest all the way from over here has now ended up right there along with the iron we're gonna need and the extra quartz we gathered a long 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 time ago and I'll admit we had to make some pretty spicy spaghetti to make this all work out but on a good note here we actually finished off another project the iron spine. So this is bringing up like all the iron for our turbo motor production. Just across that bridge there. And it's bringing up a bunch of quartz. And the quartz we're going to need for the heat sinks here. So all this needs now is a nice little roof, a few decorations, and bada boom! And that's a project complete! But we'll add the decorating onto our infinite to-do list. I don't want to deal with it right now. Because brother, we have a huge project to do today. Oh man, like we're gonna need, what is this, 32, 24, like 200 different machines. Like two dozen foundries for aluminum, a billion more constructors for iron wire, and then assemblers for the alclad sheets, for the heat sinks of course, and then we're gonna be changing things up for the silica. Because when we first started making the alclad sheets, we didn't unlock all the alternate recipes when there's just the best one right at our fingertips. Like look at this beauty. It uses raw quartz and limestone to produce extra silica. And just to compare here, like the default recipe is 30 quartz for 45 silica. Whereas this alternate is 30 for 68 almost silica. Just with a little extra limestone. Like there's limestone literally all over the place. Like what a deal. So yeah, we quickly just gotta bring up a little extra limestone, and then I totally forgot, but we need copper as well, so... Quick little adventure time. You know, I think... There should be a couple extra nodes for that stuff, just around my base here. Shouldn't be very complicated. You know though, really the worst thing is just having to go it down and back up my base again. Like, <laughs> not only does it take a long time to get up to the top of my base, just up bounce pads, but like... Falling down? Like, look at this, it's like 30 seconds. Ridiculous! But, at least we have a nice little overview of things to see what we can get, and wow! Well, that's convenient. <laughs> that's the two things we need right there! Alright, just don't be an impure node, and we're fine. And that's an impure node. Very cool! Copper, you wouldn't disappoint, right? Right? Of course not. Okay, so that's our copper node. We just have to bring that up there now. And this isn't actually part of the plan, but are these impure? These are normal nodes? They were here the whole time? Oh. 
Because, you know, I'm pulling iron nodes that are normal from the other side of the map here. And I could have just got these two and made a smaller train. You know what? It's already done. It's already done. No use crying over spilt milk. Let's go and find some better limestone nodes. Oh wow, how did I forget about this one? It's literally right beside one of my highways. And it's a normal one. Oh, perfect. Very, very good. Okay. And then I think there are enough slots still left in the spine to bring all this stuff up. So not a big dealio there. And we're gonna have to pull a cool 480 copper from this bad boy. And we're gonna have to pull the same dealio with the limestone. But now we have everything for our heat sinks. Just brought it all up the spine and there we go. And I'm really hoping that I can fit everything in this like cube. There's like 200 different machines so it's gonna be close, it's gonna be tight, but maybe. Also, we're gonna need a new spine for this section. So uh, I'm kind of starting one just over there. We're not gonna mess around with it too much. Just generally speaking, that seems like a decent spot. Anyway though, let's change my gamma down. Whoa, not that far down, brother. There we go. And where do we even start? It's like I have this huge list of like how to do this, but it's like, oof, there's so much. I guess we can just start with like the wires. It's pretty straightforward, right? We've done that a thousand times before. However, this time, things are gonna be a little bit different. Because in the future, there's gonna be Mark II, like, constructors and smelters and stuff. So I'm gonna be using as many power shards as I can on, like, small-scale builds like this. Because I know in the future, we can just replace them with the Mark IIs, and then we're good. And, like, look at this. Like, we're saving so much space as well. Like, jeez louise, man. This would have had to be twice as big if we weren't using power shards. Now, obviously, we're not gonna be able to do this for very long because, oh my gosh, using two power shards per freaking smelter or constructor is gonna drain our supply hyper quick. So maybe we go on, like, a slug run or something? I don't know. For today, we'll just use as many as we can. And we're already out! So we need 3,240 wire per minute, which will equate to about 48 constructors. But I just built 24 here, and with all the power shards, yeah, that's our entire power shard supply in the world. So yeah, maybe on one of like my Wednesday or Sunday live streams, we'll just go around the world collecting all those little sluggy boys. But at least for now, we're done with all the wires, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. And I guess we will move on to our foundries and aluminum. Oh, wait, 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 I goofed it. I goofed it. I went on autopilot, and I connected all the copper to all the wires. It's just... <laughs> I don't know what I was doing, man. We need to connect the iron to the wires, because we're making iron wire, brother. Okay, and there we go. Now we're going to be able to connect the iron to all this jazz. Whereas the copper... Gotta go upstairs to our 24 foundries and make us a cool 720 aluminum ingots per minute. So yeah, you know foundries, pretty straightforward dealio, especially with the stack of splitters now. However, there is one cool thing with all this, and that is that I made a system-wide remerger system. So all these have four rows of foundries, and then all the excess bauxite will end up going into this huge line right at the end here, and then the bauxite will start re-merging from the back of the system to the front of the system. But I'm really hoping this re-merger system works out really well, because there's a pretty big problem with this whole thing, and that is that all the bauxite lines are a little bit different. Well, some of them are anyway, because we're pulling from some normal nodes, some pure nodes, etc, etc, so the rates are all kind of different but I'm inputting each line into the same system. And I'm really just banking on the remerger thing, kind of evening out the disparities. It might work out really well. It'll definitely make it better. Like, don't get me wrong here. It'll make it better, but we might have to relook at this later on. For now though, it's a done dealio. But so far this project is going really smoothly. So there's our 32 beautiful assemblers for our silica using that limestone and quartz recipe. And that will be producing a cool 2,160 silica per minute. Oh boy. 
And also, I'm kind of using this opportunity to test new, like, overflow method things. So now, we're gonna be trying an injector type system. Because we have three 780 quartz lines going into four rows of assemblers. And what I got going on is a little strange. So obviously the three lines split up, and one goes into a splitter here. Splits into the first row and the second row. But before it reaches the second row, I have another line coming in beside it by a merger, and it splits up, rejoining all of this. So this should be a full 780 line. Technically. And then I just repeat that process with all the rest of the lines. So it's kind of weird. I don't know if it's gonna work, like all this remerging and stuff. And at the end of the day, what might end up happening is we overload a line and stuff just ends up backing up, like in this end. So we might have to change things out, but hey, it's a nice little experiment. And because we have the space elevator on one side, and we want to build a new item spine on the other, we've kind of been trapped in our own little shoebox here. So I'm taking the opportunity to try out a bunch of different methods. And I guess we'll kind of see how it all works once we get to heat sinks, which should be pretty soon. Only two more factory floors until we're there. We just have to start making a couple sheets first. And just like that, another 48 assemblers, because <laughs> I've gotten pretty quick at this, not gonna lie, pretty quick. Uh, two floors of 24, 48, boom! All the alclad sheets we need in the world. And now we can build the heat sinks Probably up here. We need another 36 assemblers for that. However, uh, we kind of have a very interesting problem. So, um, yeah. <laughs> um, we're in the atmosphere. So, when I looked down before, from like, when I'm in the hub, the hub 2.0, the atmosphere is kind of all down there. But it seems there is like, a second atmosphere, only a couple floors up, which is kind of spooky. So yeah, like, right when we get up to this assembler layer, and above, it's a little cloudy now. So I guess we'll have to play with the fog off. I don't know how that's gonna affect, like, lag and stuff. And hopefully, in a super dream world, like, in a couple floors, we'll just be past it. Okay, uh, maybe after quite a few floors, we'll be past it. So this is bad. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely gonna have to play with fog off for quite, quite some time. Quite some time. Can we get to the like the very top of this? <gasps> oh, we did it! <laughs> yeah, definitely gonna have to have fog off here. And also, you know, I wonder if I whoa, whoa, what a fr we can actually see the whole world from here now. Dude, this is sick. Well, there's a little... <laughs> Everything looks so small. I remember when we could barely see that. Oh, there are all our trucks moving and grooving. Our coal plant. And none of the trees are loaded in, so we can see everything so clearly. There's our bauxite. And there are little bauxite miners all out and about. Oh, that's just so cool. Oh, I love it. And our nuclear plants. All functioning perfectly, finally. Holy snap, no way. We can even see into our desert train station. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh man, I can't wait until we build like another 20 floors higher to like this point. Dude, that's gonna be sick. Uh, anyway though, yeah, I guess we'll kind of just get used to this view since we're gonna be seeing it a lot now. And for now, just finish off our heat sinks. We've already built like 150 machines so far. Another 36 will go by in like, seconds. Oh wait a second, I just had the best idea ever! Why don't we leave this open, and then maybe fit like the 36 assemblers over here? Oh, that would look spicy man, spicy! Let's try it out. Oh wait, hold up, no 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 no, we can't do this. Because we're right at the front of the base here, right? Right in front of the space elevator. And I really wanted to do something cool where I had like, item lifts. Just lifting things up right at the front here. Just as like a nice little detail. So yeah, we kind of have to space things out a little inefficiently to make it look good. But I'll still try and do something to make this floor look extra special. Oh man, well we managed to do it. We got all the 36 assemblers over here. And we got the cool view on the other side. So everything looks good. 
works well and will be perfect. Maybe. Um, honestly, with every stage of this project, there's been something weird I've been doing with the load balancing. Like for here, um, uh, <laughs> we had some really strange stuff happening with the wires because they broke down into six equal lines of 810 per minute. And go figure, but 810 wires per minute don't fit on one line. Yet. So we kind of have some really oddly placed mergers here and there. Like, all over the place. But trust me, at the end of the day, everything works out relatively evenly. But really, we just have to turn everything on and see what happens because there's so much goofy stuff in this project, I, I don't even know. So let's start powering things up, let's watch it come to life, and view all of the horrific mistakes I made. And like seriously, there are a ton of mistakes I bet. Oh man, oh man. I was going through and like, fixing up all of the lines. Uh oh, that's a good sign. I was going through though and just organizing the lines through the outside of the area. And I realized, wait a second, why do I have the foundries down here if I'm making the silica upstairs and it's like, oh. And why did I make the wires on the bottom floor when I needed them on the top floor? It's just... I, I just really wasn't thinking. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm sure there's a few other things I missed. But hey, on the off chance, everything might just work out. Or I screw up every input into my machines and have to delete half of them in order to recover items. But you could say I'm in a gambling mood today. So let's try it out. Alrighty though, there goes the constructors spreading out all the iron. There's iron there, right? Of course there is, good. We're getting the copper, excellent. Bauxite, get into your foundries. It's go time, brother. Hmm. Hmm. And it looks like we might have some problems right here. Wait, I'm like looking around. I don't, I don't know what I did. Where is all this aluminum going? Onto this line? Okay, does it all merge onto one line? Wait, why hasn't it merged onto one line? Oh my god, what have I done? Uh-oh. I'm super confused. So we're making 720 aluminum per minute. But, where's it going? Why Why do I have, like, 30,000 different lines for this? Why is one fill- why is it filling up? Oh no. We've entered the danger zone, brother. Oh, okay, so I found out what I did. I just... goofed it. Just... Yeah, just straight up goofed it. So I have six rows of foundries, and then for whatever reason, I only grabbed like four of the rows and split them to the two assembler floors or the uh, alclad sheets. So all I have to do is split some of the outputs here and merge them onto existing lines. Then we should be good. Not a huge deal breaker here. Okay, well, I'm gonna be honest. I have completely lost this. I, I don't understand. I don't even know what I was doing. <laughs> I just... I don't even know. I need to delete all of this and redo it. I like I got it working. Like everything's getting fed, but I I, I don't even I don't I don't know. I don't want to look at it anymore. <laughs> That'll be a problem we fix some other time. Yeah. Easily though. The mo <laughs> that is the worst, most disorganized place in my entire factory. By far. By far. But luckily it does work, so like, I guess we are producing heat sinks now? Are there any items up here? Oh wow, we already have like 99. Oh my goodness, we are making so many. Oh yeah! I forgot to mention, but we are making 270 heat sinks per minute! If this thing was running properly. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll fix the foundry area in like a live stream or something. And then I'll have to monitor the rest of the system for a few hours just to see how things are going. However though, I think that's gonna be all here. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye